That was fast. I had to set everything. I had to set everything up so I can uh, so I can get this this good topic, this good conversation that we about to have in a second, man. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Just chilling right now. What's going on with you besides driving and working? Uh, driving, driving and working. That's that's about it. That is it. <laughs> driving and working. I mean, I I was supposed to be home later on this evening but that that don't look like it's gonna happen i got uh i got like three and some change to get there with with about two and a half to uh to get there and i don't i don't think i'm gonna be able to uh i'm gonna be able to push that so i'm gonna have to definitely stop and and get oh, in a, no. yeah stop and get in a reset and um and uh, pull off first thing in the morning, and uh, and uh, make it back to make it back to work on uh, on Monday. On Monday, okay. That's about it, man. That's that's about it. You know, I I current uh, I, I come to learn the more that I the more that I drive for this company, I just come to learn to you know just just come in, do my job, and keep it moving. That's about it. Okay. You know, that's that's so what that's I, how it has to go. Huh? That's how it has to go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, so what wait, what are you on? You on your headset, phone, or what? What what we got going on? Because I'm I'm hearing muffled. I'm on my speakerphone. I'll put my headset in. Oh my god, you need to take me off the speakerphone and, and Oh shut up. Yeah, you need to take me off the speakerphone. And you know what? Probably barely to use the uh, the Bluetooth. You know, if you got huh? oh, there you go. That's not there. You go. That makes for great audio. There you go. See what I'm saying? Oh Lord, that makes for that makes for great audio. That's what's up. Uh huh. That's what's up. Zipporah in the building. What's going on with you? Oh, nothing. Fighting to survive. Trying to keep my head above the water above the water well look look at here you know we just gonna jump right into it because you know we we talked yesterday and you had you had plenty to say uh <laughs> the actual did did you get a chance to watch the full video that i sent you or no no i listened to some of it he has somebody hurt him i just want to know who hurt him <laughs> <laughs> He was. He has been hurt, and I want to know who hurt him because he, he, he was is ridiculous. He, he was. He was heavy in my in my live feed this morning. I mean, he was. He was heavy in the live feed this morning. I was like, bruh, okay. But he is uh, so disrespectful. But I mean, he is what he is. He's an old school driver. He's he, he's like trucker. He's like you know trucking is it's embedded in him. It's like it's it, it's like. If you, I, I guarantee you, if you open up his chest, he don't have a fucking heart. He has a diesel engine. <laughs> <laughs> Why? He's been driving since what? He was twenty one. Uh, he said, "Well, you know, you know how, you know how old schoolers when they come out, they say, yo, he was born with it.' But yeah, I, I think he was like maybe like nineteen or, or something like that. You know, he came out of, he came out of the service." You know that's why you know he he, he they call. Oh, him that's Jack. another reason why he's like that. Yeah, he came out of the service. Uh, he did a he, no. He you know he did his full bid in the service, and I think during the service, you know, he was driving trucks and all like that. And and of course, when he came out of the service, uh, you know, he got into he got into trucking in the eighties and all like that. So I, I just told him, you know, like I told him today. Say, yo, bro, we gotta we gotta adapt with the times, man. The 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 days of renegade trucking and and outlaw trucking is over, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's over. You gotta get you gotta adapt to the times. You know? Yes, you do. And when you got multi when you got multi billion companies investing in in quote unquote safety equipment and automated trucks and all that shit what, what 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 can we do man what what can we do we we got to adapt with the times 
Speaking of uh, speaking of adapting with the times, what you been up to since the last time we uh we actually spoke? I think we I think we did our interview about what about a year ago, but we came back together, you know, since then. But what's what's been going on with you uh since the last time we talked? Well, I was working for Airwolf, and they was forcing me to go to New York, and I hate New York City, so I had to let that go. Uh, wait, and wait, you you this- sub- you you. Your phone number says Georgia, so you you're out of you born and raised and out of Georgia, right? Yeah, uh huh, yeah. I'm at home right now. Oh, okay, okay. So the company that you was with had a lot of northeast loads. I was working for Airwolf. They do airport freight, so I was always up there in like um, Missouri and Illinois and all of those parts up oh. up that way past Tennessee. Okay, okay. And um, I was going to, you know, like DHL and all these other places they deliver to, but they was forcing me to go to New York. I went to New York probably twice, and I was like, no, I can't manage New York. It makes my anxiety too high. If you make the wrong turn, you stuck. You can barely get in and out of there. So the lady was like, well, if you can't drive for New York, if you can't go to New York, then you can't work for the company. I said, baby, let me explain something to you. I said, my CDLs are like gold. I said, you think you're going to hurt me? Mind you, I had already had a job before I even decided to quit. Right. So I just dropped their truck off, and I just kept it pushing. Right. But then this is where the nightmare comes in. All right, so hold up. Right quick. Guess, hold, hold up, hold huh? up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you, you, you of course, you, uh, like me, we're, we're not fans of New York, but they, they actually talking about not New York State, but New York City. You, you was yeah, going. they turning over in Queens. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh my Low God! Low bridges, tight roads, oh. can't get in and oh. out of nothing. No. Oh, oh my God! Mm-mm. Queens. Mm-mm. The boroughs. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. Where you had to actually bother with. Where you had to actually get out and adjust your tandems just to make that one turn. Oh my yes, God! Yes, Lord. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Because if not, your trailer take off that whole dang on light, stop Ooh, sign, yield God. sign, whatever the case may be. You can't get out of there. Now, I, you know, you know, times change. Like, again, that's when the adaption come into, into play. But, yeah, I can't do the force freight. But only, only, only smaller, like, smaller pup trailers, box trucks, and or... Maybe I'll say maybe forty-eight foot trailers that can that can navigate the the, the burrows, but uh, whose idea was it for 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 them to accept going up into New York doing the five? Is it four burrows or five? I think it's doing the five burrows in New York mm-hmm. and New York City with a fifty-three foot trailer. Along, exactly. Along with an extra ten feet tractor. Exactly. And then some truck drivers have told me that they had to get an escort to get out of New York, and it still took them six, seven miles with an escort. Because people in New York are crazy. They will block red lights. It be cars on top of cars. They cussing and screaming and carrying on with all kinds of foolishness. Mm. And I'm just like, really? No, I'm good on New York. I mm. pass. Mm. I ain't never going there again. So do you think out of, let me see, I'm, I'm going to say major cities like New York is one of them. What's another city that's that's uh, that's tiresome? Chicago? You, you Chicago is hard Chicago. to get in and out of, too, yeah, and Chicago. so is Pennsylvania. Pen- because oh. you have to actually go through the neighborhoods in Pennsylvania oh. to get to the highway, and then you got residential cars oh. parked on the side of the road. How are you not going to tear these cars up? You know, you know PA, they, they can keep PA. You know, yes, P- it's P- ridiculous. PA, they they could put they they could put PA up under the map. I really, they I should. I really hate fucking like if it, it only takes you a minute to get up to PA from you know from right. Ohio, but then when you actually in PA, it takes you forever to get to New York. And mind you, they don't have no damn truck stops in Pennsylvania. Uh, not 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 none that has enough 
uh, enough parking for A space for a tractor and trailer to get into. None yeah. whatsoever. Exactly. Awful. All right, go ahead. Go go ahead with your story. You you was about to you was about to go into the story about you and the you and the chick. Yeah, I was working. I had got hired at JCT, and you know some of these companies. They no, train wait, 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 wait! You. Not JCT, what? not not yet, what? not yet. You were still what? talking. You were still talking about Airwolf. You was. You. Oh yeah, I was saying Airwolf was the fourth freight, and I told the lady. The lady gonna tell me, well, if you can't go to New York, you can't work for the company. Right, I right. said, baby, let me explain something to you. Mm-hmm. I said my CDLs are like gold, and I treat them as such. I said you're not hurting me by telling me that I can't work for your company because I refuse to go to New York. And mind you, I had already got hired at JCT before I quit, but I was going to stay like an extra two weeks. Mm-hmm. So when she told me that, I said, you know what? I said, you ride me back to Atlanta Terminal in Jonesboro, and I'm going to drop this truck off, and I'm going to go about my business, and how, that's that. How much How much it was giving you per mile? Or was you getting paid cent. per Oh, it was fifty cents a mile. Oh, it was fifty cents. That's what he paid all his drivers. He's Indian and he's very freaking greedy. They oh. give you the lowest cents per mile possible. Oh, this is oh this this is uh this is like a owner operator type deal or this or this was like or this was a black ops company. That's what I call him. This was an Indian guy that started his own trucking company and he had built a terminal. And um, he built his new terminal in, um, I think, Tennessee or something like that. I can't remember exactly where it was at. Mm-hmm. He built the new terminal out there, and they had, like, the big open house and all that stuff. But he don't give no pay raises. Every driver makes 50 cents per mile no matter how long they stay there. What, what is this 1099 or, or W2? Yeah, 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 it's 1099, yep. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Oh, and he, and he was allowing and he was allowing the drivers to drive off the clock and over their DOT hours and all kinds of foolishness. Mm, okay. Yeah, well, he, he said, was well, doing he, too much. He, he said he'll he said he'll allow it, but exactly when your ass get caught, then he'll be like, "Oh, I don't know nothing about that." Yeah, he ain't gonna take the fall for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do, yeah, do it as long as you don't get caught. Yeah, as long as you don't get caught, you're good. But if you get caught. If you get caught, we we uh we're gonna disavow you. <laughs> exactly. So you know how that go. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna disavow you if you get caught. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. all right. So uh, moving on to JCT, John Christianers Trucking. Yes, I have yeah. made the call to them, and they they are uh they are lease. Company. Yes, they're lease and company. Yes, but it is a big scam and it's a bunch of bullshit. All right, so talk to me. What's what's what, what we need to know about John Christianer's trucking? Okay, this is the thing. Apparently, they had got sued in the past for their lease, mm. so they redid their lease where they charge you twenty six cents a mile, and that would be your truck note for the week uh-huh. plus the one twenty that they take out, right? Uh huh. Well, uh huh. So, uh, so uh, this is uh, the thing. Uh, wait, 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 All wait, of their trucks. Uh, wait, wait, huh? wait. Twenty. Wait, are you are you serious? Twenty six cent a mile. Wait, wait, wait. How? Wait. Twenty six cents a mile. Not. That's not. Wait. That's for the truck payment. So how much is it a mile that they paying you? Well, this is okay. This is the thing. They say it's a dollar forty a mile, but it's oh. really a dollar and one cent. The extra, the extra thirty nine cent comes from your fuel rebates when you fill up at the pilot because they give you fifteen cents per gallon, okay. which equals up to a dollar forty cents a mile. Okay, okay, but they also, so, but they also take out that twenty, that twenty cent, twenty cent, cent, cent a mile for your truck payment every week too. right so your truck payment fluctuates every week you're not going to pay the same truck note every week mm-hmm. and i'm telling you another thing about them all their trucks no matter the year is a hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars what even the, even the low years 
from 2015 to 2022, they are a hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars at twenty six cents a mile. Now I did have a guy in orientation that got a 2015 with almost five hundred thousand miles on it at twenty four cents a mile. I picked a 2021 with forty four thousand miles on it because you know the more miles on the engine, the more wear and tear it creates. But it had a Detroit engine in it. Right. So you could do a millions of miles on a Detroit engine before you can even have to try to do the maintenance to it. Exactly. But the only good thing about their lease program was that if you take a week off and you come back, you're not in the hole. They take the 120 mm -hmm. plus all the other fees you pay mm -hmm. minus the truck note, which will equal up to like $300. So if you don't have like a load or two before you go on your vacation or you take your time off, mm -hmm. you come back, you're going to be negative $300 versus negative $900 or $1,200 in the hole. Okay, okay. So that was the only thing I liked about the program. So how much, so how much, well, well 20, so average. So av twenty six cent a mile. So average, the average truck payment a week is how much? Like one week I was five thirty four. One week I was two ninety six. One week I was seven thirty four. It all depends on how many miles you do, because they they're gonna take that twenty six cents a mile plus that one twenty. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, so it, but, yeah, the huh? So your payment, so your payment with them fluctuates. It fluctuates every week. They say you could pay it off in a week and a half. I mean, two years and a half, which is absolutely impossible unless you're team driving. A solo lease person driver cannot pay off a truck in two and a half years at twenty six cents a mile if you're not running the miles that you need. To, to pay the truck note. So how how was so how was running the miles? What what they was at, what they was giving you? Like what was your average miles a week? Okay, this was my problem with it. They okay. had a new lane, a South Region one, a South Region lane, which I had got hired for, okay. which was Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, and Missouri. But then once I get hired, I sign a lease and I do everything. The drive manager, Tyler, is going to come to me and say, well, that's a new lane and you're only going to get 500 miles a week and Good. you need to do a little bit of OTR. I did not want to be OTR. That's why I chose South Region because I do not want to be over the road. Right. So now I'm in California. Arizona, mm. Arkansas, mm. New Mexico. Mm. No, nah, bro, this is not going to work. So I start raising hell. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because, no, this is not working because the further you go, the more diesel you spend. And I'm going to tell you another thing that's, that's, that's a, a scam with a um, leasing program. Now, they gave you a $2,000 sign-on bonus, right? Right. And you got three weeks before your truck note come out. Three okay. to four weeks before your first truck note comes out. Okay. But they only giving you a thousand miles a week or fifteen hundred miles a week, trying to get you to make as less money as possible. So, so when it's time for the so, truck note to come out, then you supposed yeah. to be able to get more miles for it to even out. Okay. So yo, so what they trying to do to you? You you get that two thousand dollar sign on bonus, but what they trying to do to you is not make you that is mess up your miles. So that your sign right. on, so that your sign on bonus that you're supposed to be getting will cover right. for will cover for all that all that need to be covered for. So instead of exactly. instead of getting instead of getting two thousand, you you probably might come out with like five hundred or something. Oh, it was like $1,100, $895, $600. What am I going to do with that? Wow. Stop playing with me. Don't play with my money. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then I kept getting into it with the drive manager because he was telling me that um, I'm not going to make no money on the South Asian runs. And then I talked to Tyler. And okay. apparently whoa, 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 the guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Let's let's pull this back. Let's, let's, let's pull the rug from up under that right quick. They, you 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 came in. You saw what they and see. This is what I was talking about. They sold you a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of dreams because right. it ain't nothing like what they tell you. Right. See. This